My name is Martin Roberts, I'm Libraries Development Manager for Stockport Libraries and you're here in One Stockport Hub which is our new town centre cultural space. So at One Stop Put Hub, we offer a variety of services. We have books that people can come in and borrow. There's a variety of books, including fiction and non-fiction, large prints, etc. We also have PCs that people can drop in and use or they can make appointments for. Those PCs are Windows 10. They've got all the office packages that you need and they're available for people to come in, just drop in and borrow to attach to an email, keep in touch with friends, etc. We also have our heritage services here as well. So people can come in if they want to research their family tree or look at old photographs and we also have our museum shop as well which is a new feature in partnership with our museum service and that's been really uh, interesting so far for people when they've been coming in. I think the thing our residents get is access to a community space. Uh, one Stockport Hub, as with the other libraries we've got open in Stockport, are present in our communities for people to call into. It's a free space for people to use, there's no judgments for people who come in. In a lot of places when you go into them there's some expectation to buy something in a library in Stockport, as with other libraries, there is no expectation to do that. So from our perspective, the library is a cultural space, a community space, and it's a hub for council information, as well as a resource for people who want to get some free entertainment to read. I think back, one of the, one of the things I was talking to somebody about the other day that really strikes in my mind was I used to run a reading group in Redditch Library, it's one of our small community libraries up near Gorton. And this reading group was uh, just a standard reading group. I was standing in for somebody else who was off sick at the time. And we just happened to have a conversation about the book. And as always with a reading group, you start talking about the book and then to be honest, you go on and talk about other stuff. And one of the members at one point suddenly said, I absolutely love this reading group because I've struggled with depression and I've struggled with being able to get out and talk to people. And attending this group has really helped with my mental health. It's really enabled me to start re-engaging and the group themselves had started going out for a coffee and to socialise. And it's one of those moments when you suddenly think, you know, you just have this monthly one hour thing that somebody can just attend for free. There's no expectation on them coming. And this resident absolutely found it the cure to their mental health issues, along with many others about the high school that gets in touch and says, can we please use your library as a space that an excluded child can have some lessons because they're not able to go into school so we have lessons set up. I think back to the Job Centre who worked in partnership with us. The Job Centre wanted to do some lessons, some training for job seekers who were over 13 weeks unemployed to improve their digital skills or improve their literacy. And they decided to do that in the library. And the feedback we got was that because the library is such a welcoming and open space, the, those attending the course didn't feel under the same uh, pressure that they do attend in the job centre. The job centre staff wore casual clothes like the majority of our staff do and it was just the atmosphere and the environment that really enabled that attendance to carry on and really encouraged people to achieve as well because that for me is something around a story about a library. It's just that space that people don't feel threatened and there's no official done behind it on the whole. I got into libraries because I met my, uh, my girlfriend at university now my wife and uh, she comes from Oldham so we were just looking around for jobs for me because I'm from Wales originally and I happened to see um, a two-week part-time job at Cheadle Library to advertise for and this was back in 1997 so I decided uh, to apply for that because it was just something that was within the kind of geographical area. Applied for that, I didn't get it, I came third but then I had a phone call to say would I be interested in covering a maternity leave uh, for somebody at Stockport Central Library which was August 97. So I agreed to start that um, and I just loved it. I, I'd loved, I love, I've always loved the idea of anyway helping people. You know, I've loved the idea of giving something back in terms of being able to say that, you know, you're helping people with reading or you're helping people if they've got a problem. And I loved that anyway. And I just think that when I came into libraries, it was just really a period of, of huge change. You know, in 2001, we had the People's Network when we suddenly had all the PCs that we've still got now, which were gifted by lottery money. And from then on, really, I've just carried on. I love Stockport anyway. It's a great place to live. You know, it's beautiful in terms of you've got countryside and you've got urban. And then working for the library service anyway, I've always found Stockport to be really open and really interested in change and doing different things. So I've just never gone.
I think in Stockport Libraries, um, we touch on people's lives from the very beginning. When um, children are born at Stepping Hill Hospital in the maternity wing, we have a book deposit collection at Stepping Hill. So there are books there that parents can read, particularly in the neonatal unit if they're staying with their babies who aren't very well. So if they're staying with the babies who aren't very well, they've got the books to read and some of our information leaflets as well. And that's also access to our online resources. So with our online resources that they can get access to in Stepping Hill, they can do stuff while they're sitting there waiting. And for a lot of parents, when they're in a particularly stressful time, that's a really difficult, you know, it's, it's one of those small kind of um, helps in terms of their well-being. We also provide, in terms of working with our um, BME community, we work with the Seander Development Trust to make sure that our services can uh, reflect the requirements of our, that community. So we do things, a lot of celebrations for Black History Month as well. So we've done things like um, African drum events, we've done food events, and we wanted to really make sure that we work with our um, BME community as well. We also work with the LGBTQ community, so we were one of the driving forces in Stockport around establishing events and activities for the LGBT community. So for four years now, um, in uh, February for LGBT History Month, we do a range of events with partners in different locations. And then when people get to that point when they are older and then they're struggling to get out to the library, we also have our home library service that actually goes out and delivers to people who physically can't get out. At the moment we have just over 500 people on that and we go out throughout Stockport and they get a blue box once every three weeks and also a chat. Just that, that contact point with somebody and for a lot of um, older people in that situation they are quite isolated. So they will have that touch point when somebody calls around with the box, has a bit of a chat with them. And to be honest, over the years, the Home Library Service have done a variety of stuff. Some really serious, like they've found when people have fallen, they've had to phone emergency services, to them having to phone the gas board because somebody's got a problem with their boiler. Just, just have that moment, just think, libraries are free. We, we don't charge when people come in. We don't expect somebody to buy something. We don't expect somebody to be sitting here for all day and then be expected to, oh, come on, you've got to move on now because somebody else needs that space. Just stop and think a second and think, well, libraries are free. And from that freedom, what do I get? I get access to free books. I get access to PCs. I get access to free Wi-Fi. I get a space I can just spend time. I've got a space I can meet my friends. I've got a space I can come and explore and gain knowledge and understanding. I've got a space that represents my community. And all that's free.